This is pre-calculus and uh, topic nine, and we are working on the practice assessment for it. And um, for this, we want to write a parametric equation, Cartesian equation, and find the eccentricity of this ellipse. So um, let's start off figuring out where that center is at. So the center is right here. So notice the center will have the same x value as this point because it has the same left-right direction, and it'll say, have the same y direction as this point. So there's my center right there. So I know so far I'm going to have a, um, an x minus 3 squared over something plus y uh, plus 5 squared over something equals 1. Um, and I know that in my parametric equation, I'm going to have uh, 3 plus something times cosine t, and I'm going to have uh, negative 5 plus something times sine t, because cosine and sine give me my, my ellipse. So let's figure out those a and b values. Uh, this distance right here, this would be the distance from negative 5 uh, down to 18, and that is, that's 13. So this distance is 13, and that's my a value, because it's the longer one. And this distance from 3 to 15, that's a 12. Great. So that means that my offset in the y direction is 13. So this is 13 squared, and this is a 13. My offset in the x direction is 12, so this is a 12. This is a 144. So I have both those equations. Now I need the eccentricity. Remember, for the eccentricity, I need c over a, and where a is the, the direction that the, the foci will be in. Um, the same direction, and that'll be um, in the y direction since that's the longest one. So I know that uh, c squared is a squared minus b squared in an ellipse because it's opposite operator of that. So that means that c squared would be 169 minus 144, um, which is 25. So c equals 5. So my eccentricity must be 5 over... 13, which is less than 1, which it should be for an ellipse. 